hello, my beautiful subscribers and new people, new subscribers and everybody out there in YouTube world. I'm Rena Wells, I'm your Divine Goddess Oracle, and I'm doing a special update today for Twin Flames, and I need to update this channel as well. I have been so busy, guys, so I haven't forgotten you, and I wanted to give a channeled message and some, some lessons in regards to um, what I've been feeling with this new moon in Taurus. I know I didn't do a reading for it, but I feel like... I like to kind of do the after effects, so this is kind of what's been happening. Um, yeah. So, I wanted to channel the message of what I got this weekend in regards to, you know, uh, the yin and yang ba balance, okay? That the masculine and the yin and yang symbol, if you can picture it, we have, you know, the light and the dark. And I'm just going to bring up that I've seen in the past that when there's this yin and yang um, there's these, this meme that's going out there actually drives me insane because I feel there's a lot of misconceptions in regards to yin and yang, masculine and feminine energy. And um, having to go really deeply in my healing journey, if you guys have been following me for a while, and how much things I have had to heal, even sexuality and um, all of that. So what I've seen in this meme is that, you know, the dark part, the feminine part is bad. You know, or it's like, I can't, I can't remember exactly what the meme says. I should have actually looked it up, but it's this meme. And I'm sure some of you have seen it as like the light, the white part is the good. And, and then the black part of the yin and the yang is the bad, is the ego, is the, you know, and, and I'm going to, and I call bullshit on that. I'm just going to say that because that's the feminine energy. And we have been so feminine energy has been suppressed for this reason alone. And why so many feminines are, are having a really difficult time. OK, because the natural order of the universe is that we've got light and dark and we have to be able to go into our dark in order to heal, in order to get enlightenment. You cannot do this work without facing your dark. You just can't. That's just like a given. Um, this is my twin sweater, by the way, and where I want to feel close to him. Um, so what's happening is that we then degrade the darkness. Right. And. If you're a true divine feminine, you're going to face your darkness. Truly, you really are. You're ready to go in and do that work. What I've been shown is that the feminine energy has been suppressed for this reason. Okay. Feminine energy has been suppressed on the planet because we're seen as dark. Okay. Um, feminine energy feels darkness. And we've been burned at the stake and we've been told for eons that we shouldn't be working in the dark energy. And I'm going to call bullshit on that. If you're a true divine feminine, you're able to get into the dark, master the dark, be in the dark, talk to the dark, all things and entities in the dark. And learning because you own your, your divine masculine and your light so strong within you and you're connected is that that shit don't bother you. You're able to be the calm in all of the storm, right? So if you guys are having a hard time doing that, um, this is what I teach my coaching client, clients, is how to truly be in the vibration of all energy. Not picking and choosing. Remember, we're here to heal separation consciousness. So we need to find the sameness in everything. We need to find the connection in everything. And as soon as you find yourself separating from spirit and from source, and you're feeling resistance, there's something deeper to look inside of yourself. So the message that I got for the divine feminine in regards to um, what's happening with this moon is the mirror effect again with twins. Okay. It is an exact mirror. If you're going to put separateness between you and your twin and how you mirror, then you've got a question about, you've got to kind of look even deeper into your connection. You've got to look deeper into this person, uh, into your journey. Really not even to the person, okay? Into your journey in regards to if you're if you're being resistant in doing this kind of work, okay? And why you're not facing your dark. Feminines tend to then blame and say, well, he needs to rise up. He needs to come and meet me in the light. And granted, yes, that's true to a certain extent. But the feminines also have to meet the masculines in the dark, okay? They can't rise until you do the dark work as well, Okay. So especially with my coaching clients, um, I've been noticing a trend um, with all of them and myself included <laughs> is that we resist the dark. We resist when we feel our masculine's dark. We resist it because it's painful, right? And we're like, well, that's their shit. Let them deal with that. And that 
to a certain point, yes. But again, that's still creating separateness. I want you to realize that we are here to bridge separation consciousness. So what's happening now is when you are feeling your masculine's darkness, when you're feeling them going through this type of shifting, okay, when you start to notice that there's dark energy coming up and you don't want to claim it as your own, it is an exact mirror, you guys, okay? It's an exact mirror. So when you're feeling that that darkness come up and you're like, oh, oh my God, what is this? What is this? I'm feeling this. Spirit truly wants you to recognize that that is your masculine knocking on the door to the divine feminine in the darkness. Hey, my feminine, I'm in a lot of badass pain here and I'm knocking on you to, to, you know, cause you're mirroring this darkness for me as well. We're both, it's our darkness together as a one body. It's not just one person's it's both. You are one entity, one entity and whole in your, in, unto thyself truly. Okay. And so it's a very clear mirror. So I'm not saying that you're taking somebody else's pain. You're taking your own pain. It's bringing up your own darkness. But that opportunity that you take to face your darkness, to sit in your pain, to realize how to become the master in your darkness, to rise up as a divine feminine, is to take the invitation of your masculine knocking on the door to be allowed let in, to, to be allowed in in the darkness, to meet in the darkness together. And I didn't quite realize that fully, that it is such a direct mirror and that when the masculine is truly ready to rise, they're going to start feeling their pain. They're going to start seeing their pain. And a lot of this new moon, this Taurus moon has what that's brought is this pain is this, you know, are you going to meet me in the dark? Just how, you know, I'm willing to meet you in the light. And for me to get the light, the divine masculine is saying, I need to go through the dark. I need the feminine to rise up and meet me. And this is the true meaning of the return of the divine feminine. Not about the feminine sitting in the light, darlings. Divine feminine owning the dark, okay? Spirit has also shown me that um, some feminines can go very dark and you may not want to. Again, that's that's why I'm here. Um, and I'm also going to be giving, like, um, if you want to sign up, I only have 25 spots left, guys, in the description below. Um, I'm hoping for a September launch date. I'm talking to my um, graphic designers and stuff like that. I'm putting together my website. That's why it has been unavailable in regards to the subscriptions. I'm going to be doing coaching, this kind of coaching, but how to get deeper once a week, um, monthly meditations, weekly card pulls. I'm going to be putting extensions on these videos, on my readings and things like that. It's a 25 Canadian dollar membership. Membership. I'm opening it up for like one month free for everyone that signs up. And then if you like it, then you can continue. So we can just kind of build our tribe as a collective here to bring really this, this healing journey. I think my computer's really like it was frozen. So yeah. So because this is kind of what I'm going to coach you guys through is how it's about vibration. You guys, it's not about what's happening physically, right? We've got to make this switch that it's about the vibrational feeling, how to move in the vibration, how to understand vibrations coming in, where the healing needs to happen, how you get into your darkness. If you're willing to face it, hit me up down there. Um, email me for, um, coaching. If, if that's something that you're looking into. So, all right, that's the message that I got truly. And what's happening now. Okay. So a lot of divine masculines are ready to rise up, but they're going to have to still face their dark. Okay. And you're going to start feeling dark divine feminines, if not more so is what I'm getting and no more running from it because this is an opportunity. The dark is actually inviting both of you to meet in the dark so that you can actually rise up together. And as divine feminines continue to own their power, start to really realize, okay, I can't avoid the darkness that my masculine goes through. And you know what, guys, the more that you merge, the more it harder it really is. Like even in my own situation, this whole past week, I could feel my divine masculine shifting in a really hard way. Like I knew he was in a dark place. I could feel it. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to hold peace for us. I'm going to hold peace. I'm going to hold peace. I'm going to hold peace. And I was actually, by holding peace, I was actually fighting the resistance of meeting him in the dark. And then yesterday I just freaking just broke. Like I broke hardcore by trying to do that all week. I was resisting and spirits like, nah, this is what you got to do. You actually have to go into the dark place with your masculine to be able to rise up. This is the coming home of the divine feminine meeting her masculine. Who's willing to now face their own darkness. Okay. The darkness is the divine feminine. We have the power to transmute darkness, to work in darkness, to work in all energy. Okay. And then the divine masculine, when they rise, 
and they come up into the light, the light part of the yin and the yang, the divine masculine energy, what happens is then they start to rise. They're able to take all of that transmutation the divine feminine has done and the healing that they've done on their own as well. And because you've risen now energetically as a couple, it will physically manifest. Your union will physically manifest. And then the masculine will then be able to take that mission work and put it out into the world. Okay. But it's the process. This is the process. Like I'm being really shown the process and how these twins really truly come together. So dark energy work, you guys. There's no more avoiding it. So that being said, I'm going to take a sip of water and we're going to pull some cards because I truly feel that there is a massive shift that's happening right now. I want to take a look and see where divine masculine is and then where divine feminine is. And I'm going to just pull the laptop down. We're going to do a read. All right, so let's do it. All right, so let's see, Spirit. I pulled a few cards, uh, decks here, not all my decks, just ones that I'm going to use, okay? Um, let's see, Spirit is saying we're going to take a look and see the blocks. This new moon in Taurus, Spirit of the Divine Masculine, what blocks have been coming up for divine masculine in the darkness so this is where divine masculine wants to meet the divine feminine is what i'm getting okay so this is an invitation if you've been feeling this way spirit is saying this is the invitation that spirit has been wanting to bring to you divine feminine okay i'm gonna shuffle but this is addicted and anger and chains okay so anger entrapment and codependency really comes up with addicted okay but those are just what fell out during the shuffle. We're not going to take it. We're going to shuffle. So what is it, Spirit? The Divine Masculine, the block that Divine Masculine is currently feeling right now, that they're meeting the Divine Feminine. This is the feminine, the dark feminine energy that they're finally ready to face. And yeah, thank you, Spirit. This is going to be for the next two weeks. Okay, guys? This is going to be for the next two weeks is what I'm getting. So divine masculine spirit. This is for the collective for the divine masculine. They're willing to now go into their dark feminine and to heal. What is their major block right now that they're healing in the next two weeks spirit? And this is whenever you guys watch this. Okay. So living for today for tomorrow. Today for tomorrow. So divine masculines are really trying to come into this illumination that whatever they do today is definitely going to be um, something that's going to affect their tomorrow. So they're really starting to watch their vibration. Okay, so divine masculines are really starting to realize, okay, I can't act in the same way that I have in the past. I can't necessarily do what I've done before. So how am I going to act today for tomorrow to bring a consequence, to bring something different? Okay, because something in my choices are not are not bringing me the things that I desire now. So they're really looking at what's going on presently. Can we have one more spirit? Thank you. And this is the artificial heart because they haven't been able to feel, okay? This is like a fakeness. This is feeling from, you know, your ego and it's very dark. So look at this. This is very interesting what I'm getting here because we have a full illuminated card here and then we have a full like dark card here. And so spirit is saying because they're realizing they're coming from an ego place. They're coming from a place of entrapment. And when that happens for divine masculine, put this over here, for divine masculine, when that happens, um, it's very fake and they're realizing these are ego feelings. I've been operating from my ego this entire time. And I've got to kind of look, if I'm going to live for tomorrow, what am I creating today that's creating this artificial heart, that's creating feelings in my ego? How am I going to break this open here? Okay, perfect. Let's take a look at Divine Feminine Spirit. This is for the next two weeks. What's going on with Divine Feminine in regards to Divine Feminine blocks? What is going on here with Divine Feminine? In regards to how she's going to meet the masculine, you know, in her dark energy and learning to deal with her darkness and, and things that she needs to heal and transmute into the light. What is going on here with Divine Feminine, please? You're not bringing me one. Oh, there we go. We've got three, all right? So 
Divine Feminine is doing a little bit more work, which we usually do in the dark, okay? This is about, wow, look at this. We've got, this is really beautiful. I'm just going to bring this here so you can see it a little closer. Um, we've got two yin and yangs at the end, circulating the one in the middle, which is balance, okay? See the moons here, dark and light. Um, and we've got in the middle a full illumination, okay? This is really beautiful. So this new moon, what's bringing in for Divine Feminines here is naked before the stars, okay? You're being vulnerable in front of the universe. You're bearing it all naked and saying, Spirit, in all of this darkness that's coming up, okay, this darkness is coming up for me, I'm going to be vulnerable to it and I'm going to accept it. Okay, spirit wants you to bring that the balance you've got, ma you've got the balance or masculine and feminine energy on the other end is here alone in the world. Look how she's naked, though. And this is naked before the stars. So on either end of your balance is how they're showing me like a scale that's balanced. OK, is that you're willing to bear it all in front of the universe. If I need to if I'm going to be alone in this world physically. I would rather do that with God and with the universe and the cosmos to be vulnerable. Look at this to bring me the alignment. Look at the alignment and the stars behind her and the vulnerability and to then be again naked in front of spirit fully. That you're OK alone in the world and seeing that this is this is just how it is in the physical and I'm OK with that and being OK with that. How do you get that the vibration, guys? It's doing that deep inner work, right? To be vulnerable and to be in alignment with spirit. And look what that's going to how, how that what that's going to bring is full illumination, is black flower fragrance. It's I'm going to be able to hold all my darkness and be illuminated in my darkness. Look how beautiful these black petals are. And I'm going to see the beauty in the darkness. I'm going to be okay with all of the darkness. I'm going to be okay with my pain. I'm going to love my pain because when I love my pain, when I love these gifts of darkness that come to me, I'm going to gain illumination out of it because I'm bringing spirit into that vibration with me. And that's going to bring illumination. That's, that's truly holding space for my union. Okay. And when that happens, that, that, this is what this moon is bringing forward. And when that happens, you guys, that brings up, this is the mirroring effect. It's making the divine masculine look at where in their own darkness can they gain illumination? Where is it that they, the choices that they make today are going to happen for tomorrow. That's going to bring them the best place to break open this heart. So they're really being mindful now of what's happening. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to pull here and see the sole purpose here, spirit. Just move this candle out of the way. Can you please bring down the sole purpose card here, please, for divine masculine in regards to what's their sole purpose here? Okay, in regards to um, doing this kind of work here, this week, spirit for divine masculine. With the new moon in Taurus, okay, the full moon in Taurus, and what we've just had, and this darkness that they're working through, spirit, okay, working on bringing the life back into their life, working at, you know, how what's going on in their life, how the choices they make today, and how that's going to affect them for tomorrow, and that's, I feel like it, spirit is also telling me with certain karmic situations, they're really looking at their choices, if I continue to make the same choices, how is this going to play out the same way, is that's what keeping me stuck in my heart, you know, they're really taking a look at, at their choices and what's happening. And look, the Divine Masculine is perseverance. They're going to persevere through this, okay? They want to gain perseverance. They want to, um, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So they're looking at their this mindful place, right? If I make certain choices today, how is that going to affect my heart? It's going to open my heart. It's going to close my heart. Is this the best thing for me? They're really looking at their free will and they're going to persevere in that direction of what's going to feed them. Can we have one more card, please? Okay. Yeah. Look at this. And this is all crown chakra stuff, crown and throat chakra. Okay. So they're looking for their purpose. I know what I am here to do. They know that if they persevere, it's going to ignite a deeper pur purpose for them and bring them a certain balance. I bring a start of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So they're learning how to be without judgment within themselves. This darkness is showing them where they've judged themselves before, bringing their purpose through their crown chakra, balancing their throat chakra as well. Okay. And their third eye. Okay. So this darkness is really showing the divine masculine here that they need to persevere and that they're ready for purpose and they're ready for something more meaningful as they make choices for tomorrow, as they're learning to be in a new vibration now. 
Okay, this is going to ignite a lot for this set of divine masculines here to bring more balance into their life as they deal with these dark issues. So their ego and their feelings are definitely going to come up. So whatever that looks like, it, it can be kind of gross too. the energy, right? Because they've been living from an artificial heart this entire time. And they need to know that, okay, maybe the choices that I'm making in my present moment are actually causing this to happen. What do I need to, I need to, what do I need to do? I need to persevere. I need to find my purpose in life and I need to gain balance in myself. Really beautiful. Let's see for soul purpose here for divine feminine spirit. Can you please show us the energy here for divine feminine? Thank you. Right. Blame. Self-esteem issues. We've got blame here for divine feminine. We've got peace. Okay. Holding peace in the dark place. One more spirit. And honesty. Look at that. So divine feminine is spanning certain chakras, many different chakras at the same time right now. What's happening here is being vulnerable. This clearing that divine feminines are doing in their dark, being vulnerable in front of, the, of in front of the cosmos, is realizing how I've been blaming my masculine this whole time, and I need to take my own blame and own up for my stuff. I need to be very honest in front of the universe, okay? And it's really interesting because we've got blame here. Okay, I accept responsibility for my well-being, divine feminines, in your self-esteem. This is solar plexus. This is knowing who you really are as a soul, your confidence, okay? That I've been blaming my ba my masculine this whole time. I need to clear that. I need to clear that because here, look on the other side. Remember, I said these are the scales here for divine feminine, and I feel that this message is more for divine feminine, okay, than it is for the masculine. I feel that this is a divine feminine that needs to on a message that needs to come through because look at here in regards to your vulnerability, being alone in the world, letting go, and being okay. That if I'm alone in this world, at least I'm doing it with the universe, and I need to be very honest with myself of what brings me happiness because it's not my masculine that brings me happiness. It's me being on purpose, being with the universe being in my calling, being at one in my vibration so that I can, I can heal my own pain. Okay. And be very honest with myself, being very authentic with myself so that when I do that and when I no longer blame, I will then have peace in my darkness. See, that's the peace. This is the balancing. This is holding this darkness and saying, and now I can hold this peace. Okay. Really beautiful. Perfect. So Let's do some clarifying here, guys. Let's do Divine Masculine first for this week. Okay, this is for, um, we're going to do um, Recent Past. So these are the blocks. I don't feel I need to clarify the blocks. Spirit, let's, let's just move this. Um, we'll move it like this. Okay. Because I feel like um, there's something more that's happening here. So in regards to these blocks. So we'll just move it like this so you guys can still somewhat see it. And, oh, you know what? Let's do it like that, Spirit. Spirit says let's do it like this. Purpose and perseverance through this, okay? And then we're going to do Divine Feminine this way, okay? Blame, peace, and honesty in regards to here, okay? Perfect. So I'm going to pull some cards here for, uh, you know what? I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going to, I'm going to just move them out of the way. I wanted to keep it, but I'm not on my regular table. And so I feel that's just the first part. Let's just do this. Let's see where, let's see where to my mask was at. <laughs> sorry. All right, Spirit. This is for, um, in the recent past, we're going to take a look, Spirit saying, let's take a look at the recent past. I'm not taking reversals unless I'm guided to. So I do read intuitively, you guys. Um, let's take a look here at what is going on with the most recent past, okay, that is coming into the Divine Masculine working through his darkness in this in the next two weeks, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. So whenever you watch this, okay, this is a timeless reading. Thank you, Spirit. So let's take a look here. Four cards, Spirit. That would be great, okay? We've got the Two of Cups, okay, a relationship. Okay, we've got the Five of Cups, we've got the Four of Pentacles, and we've got the Queen of Swords. So, in the most recent past, Spirit, um, this is what Divine Mas Spirit is saying, what Divine Masculines have had to deal with here is regards to the relationship and being sad and regretful in regards to the, um, not being able to be there for the divine feminine because they've been hanging on to certain things. Their actions is that they've been hanging on to certain things and realize that they're going to have to uh, disconnect 
um, different aspects of them, um, you know, different things in their life and cut things out. Clarify this, this two of, yeah. So they're trying to really tame their ego here, okay, and make a decision in regards to their divine feminine, okay? That's what they're going to be looking at. They're going to be really looking at this connection, looking at where they're sad and shameful in themselves, where they have been denying themselves, okay, and how to move forward in that and how to tame their ego in regards to this connection. So you've been on divine feminine, you've been on the mind of the divine masculines very much so, okay? They are hanging on to certain patterns. What is this four pentacles here for spirit? Yeah, because the wheel of fortune. So they realize there's the new wheel that's spinning for them, okay? Karma has come, and they know that there are certain things that they're, they've been hanging on to, which has come into their awareness, and they know that they need to cut certain things out. So the outcome in the next two weeks is what they're going to cut out, okay? And so this new moon has really, again, brought up, what was it about divine masculines here, right? Choices that they need to make, right? I want to refer back to these, the artificial heart where they haven't been feeling, right? And what? Their purpose is igniting purpose. It's igniting balance, right? It's igniting perseverance, right? So that's what's, that's what's coming up for Divine Masculine here, okay? So they know that the cycle has started to turn what they've been hanging on to certain things. Now they're realizing, oh, I've been hanging on to this. It's not good for me. <laughs> and so they, knew, they know they need to cut things out. Clarify the Queen of Swords here. They know that they need to let certain things go. Okay, look at this. And they're juggling this. So now they're in the place of mindfulness, okay? And this is what this is what's clarifying the blocks here. They're realizing certain things aren't good for them anymore. So what am I letting hang on to? What am I letting go of? How can I persevere in this? How can I balance this? So this is really awesome. This is in the recent past, okay? So this has just happened in the last week or so in the energies and coming into this week. Some masculines may still be in this place, okay? So let's take a look at what's going on in the present energy for Divine Masculine Spirit. We have four cards for it. Thank you. Okay. We've got the four of swords actually spirit saying let's okay thank you spirit they're saying don't do that right now yet let's see the divine feminine i mean they want to see the mirror they just interrupted me <laughs> so let's take a look at the divine feminine here okay we're going to see the divine feminine i'm using a different deck so divine feminine let's see the feminine balancing in the recent past spirit what is going on with divine feminine in the recent past here in regards to the divine masculine what is going on here please thank you uh -huh. so what is going on here with the divine feminine thank you spirit four cards please what is going on here with the divine feminine look at this two of wands same thing they've got two of wands as a clarifier feminines have got two of wands as their situation how am i going to move forward now in this connection how what am i going to do Okay, we've got the three of pentacles. Okay, and we've got the eight of wands. Okay, so how am I going to work with my masculine? How am I going to work in this energy? How am I going to move forward? And the outcome is this is the recent past, guys. Okay, oh, wait too many. I just need one more spirit. I just need one more. Thank you. They're giving me two, so we'll take it. So we've got strength. Look at this. Same thing again, you guys. This is this is the exact same thing. We've got strength here, just like the Divine Masculine, okay, as an outcome, and the Emperor is holding strength here, okay? So, yeah, very much, very much um, what needs to happen here. I'm just going to move this a little bit. So, yeah. Same cards coming out, guys. We've got strength. We've got strength. Two of wands, two of wands, contemplating. So both parties are really looking at how to move forward here. And again, we had divine feminine. We had how to be vulnerable, right? How to sit in your darkness, how to be naked and aligned to the universe. And the cards that came up for divine feminine, right, was the blame. Not to blame the masculine anymore, how to have peace in her darkness and how to be very honest and vulnerable in front of the universe. Really beautiful. So in the recent past, let's clarify here the two of wands. What flipped up is how to move forward with the spiritual connection. And look at this, guys, I can't make this shit up, okay? Like, look at this, what the masculine got in the recent past, okay? The connection with the divine feminine and how to move forward with this. How can I tame my ego to move forward in this? And look at this. In the same bloody ass position, guys. Two of wands with the six of cups, with the soulmate connection. How can I move on in this soulmate connection? <laughs> it's in the same 
position. Beautiful mirroring, okay? Let's clarify the Three of Pentacles. How are you going to work with the Divine Masculine, okay? Recent past, we've got the Page of Cups. What am I going to offer? How am I going to start um, this new beginning of love and how to network, how to connect, how to work with, with my masculine? Where they're mirroring right now is they're sad, okay? And regretful of this, of what's happened in this connection, and they want to know how they can move on. They're trying to hold strength in this, right? Um, in this connection, trying to tame the ego here with the relationship. And here, the divine feminine is like, how do I move forward with the two of cups? And then how do I offer? What do I give forward? So accelerated motion is going to happen, though. Here, uh, divine feminines, okay? Yeah, seven of cups. You've got to look at your different options here, okay? We've got seven of cups clarifying the eight of wands. How am I going to move forward in my life to bring? How am I going to move in my growth? That's what Spirit's saying. Not about the physical world, guys, vibration. How am I going to move in my vibration? How am I going to move in my feelings to heal, to get me into this peaceful place of owning my dark stuff, having peace in that, so I have abundant amount of options to come to me quickly so that I may choose and start exercising my power? Because that's really what divine feminines are learning how to do, how to be in all energy, how to have an abundant flow, open and receiving so that vibrations coming in. Okay. Because that's going to ignite more growth in the divine masculine and here, holding strength. Okay. Divine feminine in your power. Clarify this in your darkness, the moon, how to tame your ego in the darkness. That's exactly what the channel message that I was getting meeting yourself in your darkness. Okay. Yeah. Truly, truly beautiful. So this is beautiful. This is recent past. Okay. So we're going to go to present and then we're going to go to outcome. I'm going to put the deck, the, the things back and spirit is saying, we're going to pull now for present. Um, we're going to keep these overall messages here, but I'm going to pull different, different cards here. So spirit is like saying, let's see in regards to, um, nope, they're saying that's good. We're going to save these for present. And okay, thank you, spirit. So beautiful mirroring what's happening in the recent past. Okay. They're also looking at how to move on in this connection. And so is divine feminine. Now darkness has been coming up for divine feminines in the recent past here, right? Holding strength, taming the ego and learning how to do this. Okay. Looking at different options to hold this vibration, how to move forward, how to like, what can I offer? What can I not offer? Divine masculines here are realizing that this is now igniting. This wheel is turning. Okay. What am I hanging on to? What am I cutting out? What am I juggling? What am I balancing? What am I, what do I need to get into this place of feeling again? Okay. There's more here too, is what I'm getting is this whole cutting out the divine masculine is doing. Okay. Is the discernment part that the divine feminine is doing? What can I offer? I know it's a small little cup here, but that's all I can give right now. I don't want to go with my whole heart in. I've had to learn healthy boundaries. What are my options here? How can I heal, tame my ego, dealing with my dark stuff? How am I going to move forward in this connection now? Okay. All right. Let's take a look and see where presently the divine masculine is at. Okay. So this is the most recent past. Okay. So let's take a look and see where is divine masculine happening. What's happening now for divine masculine in the present spirit. This is for the present for divine masculine. Okay. So same, same, uh, put those off to the side so I can shuffle. So same, definitely same, um, overall messages. Okay. So spirit for divine masculine here for the present moment. Okay. With the new moon in Taurus, full moon in Taurus, what is going on here? Spirit, these are the after effects. Okay guys. And this is for divine masculine. What is going on presently with divine masculine? Thank you. spirit. We're going to take four cards again. Thank you. Presently, what is going on with divine masculine? What is going on with divine masculine? Yep. Going within to find the truth. We've got the hermit and the ace of swords. Okay. Going within. Thank you. We're going to take that. We've got four of wands for union, for a solid foundation that they want to action presently. Okay. How I need to go within to find my light. That's where they're at. So if you haven't heard from them, they're a little bit in hermit mode. It's totally normal, okay? Um, which, which I'm sure we're pr pretty much used to, divine feminines. But anyways, they're going in even deeper now, okay? Because they're trying to figure out 
how am I going to move forward in this connection, right? How am I going to make mindful choices so that I can start feeling again? Because in their feeling is they want the truth. They want to have a truthful, honest type of connection, okay? And the outcome, oh my God, look at this. Union and the sun, a full illumination, masculine energy, which is the yang, the yin and the yang, right? Because the moon came out for the feminine in the last card, right? So in the last spread. So yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So let's take a look here and see what is going on now. And let's clarify this because this masculine presently is really looking at the truth, how they want to come forward, okay, for a union. Okay, look at this. How, as he's saying, as they come forward, the chariot, they're going within to realize how to come forward to speak their truth. To speak their truth. This is the night. This is the night of um swords here right so they're really looking at how to come forward to speak the truth i mean i just said that and clarify this union of what's happening they may have to gain different perspectives a different understanding now of what this union really is and what this connection is they're coming into a deeper understanding about it and they're going to gain illumination look at this and justice will be served making just decisions for this happiness this is presently what the divine masculines are doing Okay, for this group of masculines, I feel like this is definitely, um, you know, presently what's happening, which is going to happen in the next two weeks. Okay, so after the next two weeks, this spirit is saying what I'm saying in two weeks, this we're going to take the present as the next two weeks, because this is a lot of information that's coming forward. Okay, um, my camera keeps freezing. You know, my hard drive died. And so I've yeah, still I've lost a bunch of readings. And anyways, Got a foolproof plan now, but um, anyways, it's still acting up. I have to take it back again. I might have to just get a new laptop. I just replaced the hard drive. Anyways, that's besides the point. So this divine masculine is definitely going within, okay, to see how to move forward because we have the chariot that clarified this, okay? Definitely looking at the truth and how to speak truth. They're feeling they know they need to speak truth, gaining a new deeper understanding of this connection and, just and, and justice is going to be served, making just decisions for highest good to bring them this a beautiful imagine um illumination and look we've got two people here in the sun card playing playing music together okay having fun together beautiful so let's see where the divine feminine is at now then spirit so this is the, the present moment for the next two weeks okay they're gaining a different understanding they're they want us to communicate some truth they're gaining a deeper understanding of what this connection is because they've been going through the ringer you guys all right my masculines have been going through some really dark stuff lately okay but they've been wanting the feminines to do the, to meet them in the dark not just they're doing the work okay but they've been wanting if you've been feeling a lot of you who are doing this work okay because i'm not about not doing the inner work those that are truly you know in these type of divine counterparts and connections you're realizing that when you when you accept this darkness things start to shift and that you feminines are now realizing i gotta get into this dark i've gotta meet my masculine there so we can rise together um and that's the vibration that's coming forward and they realize because look at this we've got the hermit they know they have to go within to come to come to move anywhere they know this right they know that they have to speak the truth so what is going on here, spirit, with divine feminine? Thank you. In the present. And this is for the two weeks is the present. I know that doesn't seem like it, but spirit's saying we're going to take that chunk of time and make that the present moment because that's how this, that's how time doesn't really work. So spirit is saying the recent past, that was what was leading up into this present moment. And now as you're watching this, this present moment is the next two weeks. This is the integrating part. This is how they're going to move forward. This is how they're going to come forward, speak their truth. They're gaining a new understanding of the union. So justice can be served in making just decisions. Please clarify here, Divine Feminine, please, energy. What is presently happening with Divine Feminine energy? Please, can we have four cards? Thank you. Can we have four cards here for Divine Feminine energy? Thank you. Four cards came out. So, oh my God, you guys. Oh, the Knight of Swords mirroring again, you guys. I can't make this shit up. Beautiful synchronicities happening in this reading, okay? So, Four of Cups currently, presently, the Divine Feminines are sitting here in a Four of Cups apathy. I'm not seeing any movement in the physical. What's going on? Am I not seeing movement? Spirit's like, you got to kind of sit back 
and be okay with this, okay? Because what's happening, this is a slow moving energy, okay? As divine masculines are recognizing what their truth is and how to speak this truth, divine feminines have to be okay with moving slowly in this connection. Nothing happens quickly in a true divine counterpart connection, okay? So being patient, learning how to hold back, learning how to hold your, hold your vibration, learning how to be mindful in your situation, okay? Moving slowly, methodically, carefully. This is very delicate work, you guys, because look at here, Knight, Knight of Swords. Same thing. How are you going to rush in and communicate? Okay, that's the action. You want to rush in and communicate. Your divine masculine is feeling it too. They want to rush in and communicate the truth, but they know that they've got to speak the truth now. And you are really actioning this too, recognizing you've got to also speak the truth. And what did you get here in your overall energy? Honesty, right? No more blaming. Honesty, okay? About speaking your real truth now, okay? And look at the outcome. The star, what's destined, it's healing energy. You're healing. They have the sun, the sun and the star, both. The sun is a star. Did you know that? <laughs> right? Didn't we learn that in science class? The sun is a giant star. You guys are mirroring exactly the illumination, the star and the illumination of the darkness that the feminine is going to be doing presently. This work that the feminine is doing is the same thing that the masculine is doing in gaining illumination. Let's get some clarification. Really beautiful. Woo. Oh, I can feel that. Oh my God. There's going to be so many beautiful shifts that are happening in the next couple of weeks. You guys clarify, please. The four of cups, one card each, please. Thank you. We've got six of wands, victory and success guys. Okay. Being able to sit back, being okay with sitting back, being okay in a place of apathy right now that knowing that, you know, I got to sit back. I need to like, I, I know I need to change my focus. I'm dealing with my depressed state. I'm dealing with what I've lost in the physical and I'm okay with that. And I've got to heal that because I will have victory and success. If I look at my dark stuff, that's currently what's happening because divine feminine is, I mean, masculine is also going within to deal that with that deep work so that they know how to move forward. And it's exactly the same thing. Divine feminine here is being apathetic, looking what they've lost, realizing they need to sit back and, and deal with these feelings for this six of wands for this victory and success to happen. Okay. Now look at this. Ending cycle slowly, slowly, methodically, not just cutting shit out like that. Like, boom, you're cut off. I hate you. Nah, 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 nah. Like, really, we, this is a mature connection. Okay, guys. Um, this is about looking at how am I ending? How am I ending certain cycles in my life? How am I doing it in a very mindful way with love, with good intention? Things that are going to bring me. Um, um, you know, beautiful vibrations in my life, beautiful abundance in my world. Okay. Because we've got the Knight of swords here speaking truth. So divine feminines are really ending cycles. Look at this. We've got two tens, 10, 10, 10 of swords ending for happiness and communicate. Cause you want to be able to communicate emotional stability and abundance here with your masculine. Okay. Because look, they want this union. Okay. They want this as well. But they're going, got, they're still within gaining a new understanding of this union. And once they gain this new understanding, it's igniting this emotional balance here. And how divine feminines are really going to want to express this. Divine feminines want to come from a, a whole emotional space now. No more, you know, that's, that's what you get for dealing with your dark. That's what you get for looking at what you've lost and healing it. Okay, for victory and success and closing off cycles slowly and surely with the universe by your side and then emotionally communicating when you come into a very strong emotional place. Okay, and the, the destined part, the star, okay, is the outcome, is the outcome. You're going to, it's healing. Yeah, it's healing. Look at this. Oh, my God. We've got three cards here. We, it's healing because of the Hierophant. It's healing because this is with God. This is what I just said. A higher commitment the source is calling you up to, okay? A higher commitment in regards to union. Three of cups and working really hard eight of pentacles at this with the universe. Healing with the universe. Healing vibration with the universe. The star and the hierophant. This is the higher self coming through, okay? The masculine also 
A spirit is saying this is all the, the telepathy that's coming in from divine masculine that's coming in so that you can heal this energetically as well, okay? And it's not that the masculine isn't healing. They're going within. Spirit is showing me. We've got the hangman and the hermit here. They're going within to meet the feminine in the place of spirit. They can't meet you in the physical, guys. They're going in to meet the feminine like I was channeling. They're knocking on the door of the feminine to go within, in through the pain so you can rise up together. And this is divine feminine here healing themselves in the dark, in the things that they've lost, closing off cycles now, okay? Becoming emotionally balanced, stably, and how they're going to communicate that for this higher calling, meeting their divine masculine telepathy wise inside through the healing through the star okay so that they can have this union they want this union for the 11 11 card came up here okay and uh, foundation to build the foundation because they're physical they're going to want to build the foundation and how to have a deeper understanding of this connection okay and so here divine feminines are working really hard for this union for the friendship as well this is not just about romance it's about having a deep friendship and realizing that they're being called up higher with source energy to bring about all of this healing, to bring about what's destined. And meeting destiny in the ethers with your divine masculine. Meeting them in the dark. Meeting them inside of you. First, you cannot have anything that manifests in this world unless it happens vibrationally first. That is the basic law of the universe. Law of vibration. You know, that's, that's not Rena. That's, that's God <laughs> I'm talking. That's not me. That's the universe saying you cannot have that. You cannot have this emotions here. You can't have until you're closing off these cycles. You've got to own the vibration here. And that's what's happening in the next two weeks. Okay. Awesome. We're going to take a look and see what's going to happen in the future, but spirit wants me to pull, um, some life, um, some numerology cards here. Sorry. For divine masculine and divine feminine. So this is in the present moment, Spirit is showing me the present moment being the next two weeks, and then we're going to see in the near future what's going to be happening. So here, please, Spirit, for the Divine Masculine, what? <laughs> That's way too much. What is going on here with Divine Masculine, please? Messages here for Divine Masculine. Leadership. Okay, 18. Sorry, 81, which is also um, 9. Okay, which is end of cycle. Nines are end of cycle, so they're closing things out so that they can gain into a leadership role. Okay, presently, that's what's happening in Divine Feminine Spirit. Can we have one for Divine Feminine? Just one for the present moment, which is which will span two weeks. Look at this intuition and the same color in the sacral chakra intimacy meeting each other on the inside in the place of deep intimacy as you work through your darkness to find yourself you will then meet Mwah. intuition two two master number i'm not going to reduce that down to a four okay so this is the mastery part here what i was saying about changing the vibration going within using your intuition using this power here that the the emotional balance okay for union to come about and working really hard at this divine feminines and using your intuition trusting what you're getting instead of what's manifesting in the physical world that's the switch that we need here that's really beautiful and they're ending cycles because this is a nine in order to become a leader okay leadership qualities sacral knowing who you are as a soul knowing the connection you're both coming into knowing this connection on a deeper level Whew, beautiful okay let's see what is happening future wise and that is the message that i wanted to bring forward for the collective okay and for the moon in taurus it was igniting a lot of this all right Let's see near future spirit. Spirit is saying this is going to be from now that it's going to start into the very near future after that point. Okay. They're saying up to a month from two weeks from now. Okay. For some, because it, it not for all could happen right away, but not for, you know, everyone's at a different place in their journey. So these are just general. You guys, if you want something more specific, take a look at my link down below. Okay, I am filling up very quickly. I have limited spaces over the summer. If you want an actual appointment, I'll be doing more recordings over the summer because I do travel with my kids and spend a lot of time with my children and doing my own healing. A card flipped here, and I don't know where it went, but if it comes up, we'll, we'll take it. 
Oh, there it is. Which was the King of Pentacles, being coming stable, masculine. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Spirit, can you please bring down the container here? This is for, oh, we've got another one that's flipped. Isn't this interesting? We've got a few. Yeah, three of swords and the four of cups. So looking at what they've lost and heartbreak. So what is going on? We'll see if it comes back, okay? For divine masculines in the near future, please, in this connection. So again, near future, Spirit has shown me two weeks, right after the two weeks into the near future, after that, up to a month. We need four cards. Thank you. <sighs> Nine of pentacles, guys. Beautiful. Independence, becoming who they are, ending codependency. Look at this. Ten of cups, knight of wands. Okay. And the page of swords. Wow. So here, what I'm getting is, yeah, ending codependency in their life, ending things that are no longer serving them. Okay. Becoming very independent of themselves emotionally emotionally okay realizing the work that they need to do in order to be their unique self so spirit says this isn't a completion this is this is what the healing is bringing like wow i need to be who i am no matter what to bring them this emotional abundance which is the ten of cups okay which is what the what um divine feminine was working on in the last spread she had ten of cups to come be able to come ten of cups full to her masculine right being emotionally stable and balanced and here because right now there's still going to be there's not going to be a very stable energy still okay that's why the king of pentacles showed up because and the five of um um the four of cups and the um was it the five of cups that I said, but those cards that showed up the depressed state is because they're still a little unstable. They're still working on how to communicate to the divine feminine coming in the, you know, the near future in the two, in about two weeks time frame from now. Okay. So it's still going to be unstable, emotionally unstable because they're still really discovering this aspect of themselves. So let's clarify this. Okay. Clarify the nine of pentacles and the 10 of cups and the Knight of swords. And thank you spirit. Okay, so we've got, yeah, the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. Clarify the Knight, please. We have two more. Look at this. And this, these two for the lot. So we got the King of Pentacles did come out. The stability. What did I just say? I can't make this shit up. And look at this. The Six of uh, Victory and Success and the Ten of Pentacles, which is more stability. So what I'm getting here for Divine Masculines is, yeah, they know that they need the five of pentacles. They need to walk away. They're in conflict about being themselves. Okay. So this is still the healing place that they need to still work on. Okay. Ending codependency in their life so that they know they need to walk away. This is going to come up even more. So need what they need to walk away from in order to be happy. And, um, also things that no longer serve them and what they're conflicted on. Okay. So they're still going to be working on a lot of that mindful process. Okay. Because they're going to want emotional abundance in this connection with the divine feminine. So what did I, what did I say? about this truly if you look at it right they want emotional abundance here they want the two of cups but they want to come to the union with the ten of cups that's exactly what happened if rewind guys what the divine feminine is currently working on so they're right on in sync with the divine feminine in the energy okay divine feminine is doing her work now to come to this union in a ten of cups which is the same thing ending cycles and whatnot and in the near future um the divine masculine is going to be doing the same thing. And look at this. They know that they need to come stable. They know that they're going to have to, you know, this in and out energy, that they're going to have to be more stable. Okay. Matured. A king, not a teenager. Okay. Knights are like teenagers. Okay. Like a man. You know what I mean? And not really like, not gender specific either. Okay. Like a woman, whatever gender you are, but in the masculine feminine energy, that's just how I channel it. Okay. Um, and here they're going to then, you know, small offers of communication that are going to come forward, but look, it's going to bring more stability and it's going to be aligned for victory and success because they've been willing to go through their darkness. So that's the healing that they need to do. They realize they've got to heal their darkness because victory and success does not come unless until you walk through the darkness. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. My sorry, it keeps freezing, and it's this hard drive is still causing issues, and it may not seem on your end, but it is on my end. So, sorry, it's just a quick little bloop. 
But yeah, this is the divine masculine here is really gaining this, you know, they're going to want to communicate the stability. So this is like two weeks from two weeks from now, the near future is going to start up to a month. Okay, so this, um, they're going to want victory and success after going through their darkness and to communicate to this and the stability that they that they desire with their divine feminine. Okay, let's take a look now. That's that's because they're starting to walk through and walk away from things that no longer serve them. Okay, but they know that they're still gaining the stability. Let's see what's going on with divine feminine in the near future. Okay, what is going on here with divine feminine in the near future? And this is a collective read. Thank you. What is going on here with divine feminine, please? Thank you, Spirit. Near future. What is going on to find feminine here? In the near future. Thank you. We've got nine of wands. Okay. Four of pentacles. So hanging on. Okay. So still some healing here, divine feminines. Okay. This is what I was talking about. Yeah, meeting in the dark. We've got ace of wands. Okay. A new passionate vibration is going to come into your vibr into your life. Um, and five of pentacles. So same thing, five of pentacles where you're conflicted with the divine masculine is in the same place. So here, coming in the next two weeks, okay, what you're mirroring is still this defensive behavior, okay, a spiritual strength though, kind of more or less like you're wounded, okay, um, dealing with your victim mentality, you're wounded, you've been battled, you know, you're doing your healing journey. That's why the star had come up in the last, you know, read that you're doing this healing journey. But that's because, you know, it's the spiritual strength that you're holding. Okay. You're still seeing, you're still hanging on to something. So we're going to see what that is. There's still some codependency, still some things that need to heal because you're still hanging on here. Um, so it's, again, it's an ebb and flow. This is more clearing for feminines. Okay. Um, here we have like, you know, yeah, we'll get into the mirror effect in a minute, Spirit. So yeah, so the hanging on here and then, but what's actioning is a new vibration. By you doing this work, the new vibration is going to hit in the near future, okay? A brand new vibration is going to feel a little different. It's going to feel a little um, strange. That's okay. I always tell my clients, like, if it feels different, that's a good thing because it's not going to be, if you're still experiencing the same vibrations that you've always felt, I'm going to say you got to get out of your patterns because this, this connection with, with um, your twin, it's not going to be like anything you've ever experienced. So if you're experiencing new vibration and you're unsure, go for it because that's what this new energy is coming in. It's an ace of wands. It's passionate. It's a, the divine. And then we also have the five of pentacles, which is mirroring here. Okay. That you're still going to be conflicted with certain things about being who you are. Um, it, it's my mask and it's going to be um, struggling with who they are ending codependency and you're going to be conflicted as well let's clarify here let's get more details here spirit let's clarify one card each thank you we've got the first oh that's a way too many whoops 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 a whole bunch flipped all right let's clarify here the nine of wands please thank you look at this more dark stuff to clear the moon using your intuition okay using your spiritual strength you're battered you're battered i know you know why this is coming the dark is coming so hard for feminines that's why i had the channeled message you've got to meet your your masculine in their dark you've got to you've got to there's no other choice guys we have to be able to meet as much as we meet in the light you got to meet in the dark you got to meet in all energy with your twin okay that's just how it is and you've got to hold this this warrior spirit you've got to go in you got to do it Okay, hanging on. What is Divine Feminine hanging on to in the near future? Okay, the star healing again. Hang on to the healing, guys. Hang on to what's destined and hang on to the healing, okay? Because this is really shifting things, okay? Go into your dark spirit. It's encouraging feminines. Go in. You're natural. It's your natural. Divine Feminines are naturally meant to work in darkness. Don't let it scare you. You're meant to work in the darkness, okay? You can do this, okay? Again, if you need help and you really feel that you need a coach, you can sign up for an application down below. Um, go to my site for a free coaching session, but please, only for those who are really serious about dealing with their dark, because I'm telling you, I take you guys dark, 
Okay, see, I take you guys dark. I do. I, I make you face it. I, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a unicorn sugar coating kind of coach. Okay. I intuitively gain messages and channel messages for you, but I will take you to face your stuff. Okay. Um, because it's healing. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Um, clarify. Yeah. Look at this. And you're doing this for six of pentacles to gain balance. Okay. This passion, you're going to be contemplating this. You've got the two of swords here with the six of pentacles. There's going to be a balancing this new energy that comes in. You're going to be unsure. You're going to sit with this. You're going to have to, you're going to still be blindfolded and, and have your heart close to it. That's why spirit was saying before. It's going to feel different. If it feels different, allow it. Don't be so guarded when this new energy comes in. Okay, guys? So feminine, that's a that's a warning here. When this new energy and this passionate energy comes forward, don't don't it's gonna feel unbalanced. You're gonna feel a little different. Okay. Spirit is saying it's okay. Don't cross your heart to it. Sit with it and allow it to come through. Okay. Because it's it's bringing you into balance, but right now it's going to be a little unbalanced. Clarify that a little bit more, spirit. Can we clarify that a little bit more? about the two of swords here yeah okay yeah because it's about using your intuition okay i'm sorry guys it's Ugh. frozen again i'm um, sorry so it's using your intuition it's about again dealing with the subconscious it's going to bring up more stuff to balance okay this new energy that's coming in you've got to be ready if you think you've gone through the dark you haven't gone through it yet, Divine Feminines, is really the message that I'm getting, okay? Because the masculines are really doing their best to rise up here, okay? And it's not you doing the work. It's not separate. It's meeting you, yourself, in your own dark, which is meeting your Divine Masculine in the dark. So that they, they're they going to have more of a rise up, right? Divine Feminines need to learn to really work in the dark. That's our natural way of energy. I'm just saying. It's not all unicorns and fluffy crap. It really isn't, Okay. When divine feminines that I work with get really excited when they start to when they start to really master the dark, they become so powerful. It's absolutely beautiful um, because the balance starts to return here. So don't close off to this, okay? Don't resist it. This is more subconscious stuff that's coming up in the new energy to heal. This is healing. Spirit is saying, hang on to the healing. Hang on to the healing. If you've got to hang on to anything, hang on to the healing, divine feminine. Okay? Yes. Use your intuition. Really use your psychic intuition. Look, the devil, okay? You're going to be conflicted about more toxicity that's going to come up. That's keeping you trapped in your vibration. So spirit is like, hang on to the healing. Bring the universe into it so you can end this toxicity, okay? So your masculines may rise, right? And and communicate and the, what they want and the stability and come forward. And divine feminines, you may not be quite ready yet you, you'll be still clearing a lot of this dark stuff okay um so it's gonna be it's gonna be again this this back and forth um presently divine feminines are going to start seeing a little reprieval of the work that's happening and then come in the near future you know after the two weeks there's going to be again more healing and then the divine feminine is going to come step and toe up rise up and then the, i feel they're going to actually go back into the dark and this is kind of how the ebb and flow happens any other messages here for divine feminine please spirit but i really felt that this message was really about coming into the feminine dark energy okay look at this you're opening new cycles these flipped up page of pentacles and an offer of new stability that's happening here and the sun it's going to bring major illumination and you're going to start this new cycle and ending proper cycles okay to bring in new offer of stability and illumination for a divine masculine to come in sun is illumination okay to bring in and there's two people hugging here okay um to bring in this illumination beautiful all right i feel we need to pick some more cards here numerology wise and then we're going to pick a last message of healing for the um for both okay and then that'll be the reading so spirit can we please have some numerology here in regards to you know closing off the near future the divine masculine here still being conflicted still finding themselves okay wanting to come emotionally balanced okay they're going to communicate a little bit here right but they're learning to gain their stability here they don't want to be this knight they don't want to be this player energy anymore okay so can you please give us any other messages in the near future in regards to this divine masculine coming forward please spirit in the near future any other messages here for this divine masculine okay we've got three okay yeah they're they're going to be starting new beginnings okay they're realizing that they're teaching and learning and they they're requesting patience 
more patience. Okay, guys. So we've got new beginning. Sorry, oops, that's upside down. New beginning, which is one. Okay, so they're realizing they're going to have to have a new beginning. 57, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, with 12, which is a three, teaching and learning. So they're in the process of learning, teaching, learning, teaching. Okay, learning that they're also a teacher and maybe learning a little bit more of their gifts, but they're also in a learning mode and then having a lot of patience here, which is a two. Okay. And what about future here for Divine Feminine in the near future? Can we have? Look at this. Love partnership. Okay. This is what's going to bring the love partnership. And then your future, you're closing off and starting new cycles and being okay with the cycle and knowing that there's going to be more imbalancing and that you've got to learn how to work in this dark, but that's what's going to bring your love partnership, which is an eight infinity numerology. Okay. We also have learning moderation. Okay. This is about mindfulness. This is about honoring yourself about not being so, you know, this is a five change flowing with change, being okay with change. This is being in your heart chakra as well. Okay. And one more spirit for divine feminine. Okay. One more. Maybe not. Is there one more? Yeah. Wow. Night happy ending. There's going to be a happy ending here. Okay. Don't worry about it. And I love it that you're getting a happy ending here by the work that you're doing. And they're going to be a, a new beginning with their divine feminine. That's really what I'm getting out of this. You going into the dark. Okay. Knowing moderation nine plus three, which is 12. So nine to like, which is a three. Okay. Which is their three in teaching and learning, which is the purple in there, which is beautiful. But here there's going to be a happy, a happy ending, which is at the end of the card. And this is at the end here, the last one out and the first one, it was a new beginning. So love partnership, happy ending. This was also the balance from those cards that we got out as first too. remember the balancing that I was doing the vulnerable before the stars being okay to being alone in your world. Okay. But also being okay in your darkness, the moderation, right. To bring peace to this connection, to no longer blame your masculine in this love partnership, being vulnerable in spirit so that the blame doesn't happen in this love partnership. Look at the blues that are coinciding here and being honest so that you have a happy ending in this. Okay. It's going to be, and it's not an ending guys. It's an ending of the cycle. It's the ending of an old cycle because we had the, the world here. You're ending cycles. You're opening new cycles. Okay. So you're going to end old vibrations and offer something new for full illumination. That's happening here. That's a new start. And they're going to feel this new beginning here. Okay, because look at this, they're going to feel this new beginning. Remember, they're going to feel the balance, right? They're going to feel the purpose and persevere for this new beginning, right? Out of their darkness that they've been feeling, you know, their mindfulness, how to open up more. Okay, all right. Spirit wants to give you one message in regards to your union, a message of encouragement. Okay, this is new moon in Taurus is what, I don't know, it's full moon, new moon. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, of what's happening here in the energies. Okay, guys. Would love to hear your comments. All right. Please subscribe if you haven't. If you've resonated with this, please like this video. It helps get the message out there. I'm really on a healing journey to pass this along as much as possible. Okay. All right. Please bring down the container her spirit. What message? Spirit is saying this is the message that they want to give all twins and divine counterparts that are watching this. Okay. Thank you. First one out, make a wish. If you wish upon a star, that's what I saw with the healing. I saw the healing card. The star came up, make a wish. Have faith in this. Okay. Because you are worth it. Okay. And make the decision to make this, to do this journey, to do this work. 11. This is the solar plexus journey, right? The self-esteem, the, who you are as a soul. Okay. 23, which is five, which is change. Okay. And make a wish, which is number one for new beginnings. Okay. And spirit says that they've got your back as long as you're willing to go into meeting your masculine in the dark feminines. Okay. All right. All right, guys, that was your message for divine feminines, mostly for divine feminines. Um, I felt that's what's really happening right now. So I uh, would love to hear your comments, guys. And again, if you want to book a personal rise reading with me and you want to coach with me or anything else, take a look down below. All my info is down there. If you're new to my channel, welcome. 
subscribers, you know, I always hold a special intention. I didn't do that at the beginning. I just wanted to get into the reading, but so much love you guys. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.